Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vizzy and I post beauty related content here on my channel. Today we're doing a review, we're doing a revolution review and from the title you can already tell what this review is. We have Shrek X I Heart Revolution review to do. So I do own the big palette and Fiona's palette but we're not going to review those in today's video. We're actually going to review the mini palettes because these are the palettes that I was so so excited to get my hands on and then not only is that part of the collection but they also have lipsticks. I have all four to test and then we have a highlight but we're going to do the mini palettes in this video so I'm gonna show you them all because I'm very excited for them. Firstly we've got Puss in Boots palette now this is they're all gorgeous the one that's not my favorite is the fairy godmother palette but the rest of them I absolutely love but I thought I'm, I can't get three out of four I've got to get them all and this is what Puss in Boots palette looks like it's absolutely gorgeous I love that the top half is mattes and the bottom half is shimmers then we have Donkey's palette. Oh, so excited to show you these. Just look at Donkey's palette. And then that is what the inside looks like. More cooler tones, silvery. Oh, and each of them has a little quote in the middle. So this one says, and in the morning I'm making waffles. And then Puss in Boots one actually says, wanna cuddle. And not only is it in the middle, but it's also on the side. So if you like lay them flat like this, you're gonna be able to see them. Who caught that? Then we have the Fairy Godmothers palette. Like I said, they're not my favorite. This one's not my favorite, but it is beautiful. This is what it looks like on the inside. I just feel like mm, not much I can do with it. And it actually says deep fat fried a <laughs> deep fat fried and smothered in chocolate. And then they've all got like their corresponding character at the back. So I forgot. You've got Lord no Prince Charming. You've got the three blind mouse mice on Puss in Boots one, and on Donkey's one you've obviously got Dragon just love love the attention to detail in this collection and then we've got Lord Farquhar this one is I feel like one of my go-to's it's gonna be look at that look how deep it is as well it's just absolutely stunning and in the middle it says I will have perfection so yeah those are the palettes I'm just really really excited to start playing with this collection I don't know I think I might just go in like with certain colors from each palette like and not do like a dedicated look per palette but I think we just use like whatever I fancy so I'm just going to keep them open and just yeah I can't stop fiddling with them they're absolutely stunning I think these were either six or eight pounds they're very affordable all right I think I've chosen I am going to use Donkey's palette and Lord Farquhar's palette I think those two will go well together quite nicely so yeah let's do that firstly we're gonna take the black which is called perfect place and put that on the outer corner and I love that they've got mirrors as well so I can actually see what I'm doing instead of like looking in my big mirror there's actually not much kickback in these ones oh this black is nice but it's actually got like a silvery undertone to it That was very easy to do, very easy. I'm gonna keep this on the silvery side, so I'm gonna go in with Noble Steed, which is this shade here. Again, not too much kickback, which we can really appreciate. Now let's take this shade here called Boulder. There was no kickback in that shade whatsoever. I'm just going to blend out the edges with this. Okay, loving the look so far. I'm going to go off camera, do some more blending, add some more pigment, and then we're going to come back. And I feel like we need to use a mixture of two shimmers. I'm thinking about right from Donkey's palette and then this blue one which is crown from Lord Farquhar's palette. I think that would be perfect. So yeah, let's blend, blend, blend. All right, I've added more pigment, blended it out. I'm gonna do more blending once we have gone in with these colors. So the first one, like I said, let's use crown. Oh, this is a gorgeous, like bluey looking color. And I want that on the outer edge here. 
That is stunning. I can imagine with your finger that would be even more gorgeous. Fuck me, the pigment. Wow. All right, and time to go in with About Right from Donkey's palette. I'm just gonna put, ooh, put that on the inner corner. Oh my God. And that's just with a brush. Wow. Wow, guys. That is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. I'm just gonna quickly go clean this up, blend a little bit more if it needs it, but oh my God, I'm, I'm so happy. So, so happy right now. It is gorgeous, okay. We'll be back soon because we have gingerbread highlight to play with or gingy. All right, makeup is on. I used a mixture of L'Oreal True Match for my face and Honey Do Me Up primer. My liner, I've really fallen in love with this Relove liner from, um, no, the Revolution Relove liner in Slick Flick. I've used a lot of Revolution products here. For my powder, it's the Reloaded Translucent Powder. For the bronzer, it's their powder again, but in chestnut. And for blush, it is the Pop My Cherry Reloaded Blush. So that is what is on my face. My eyebrows is like my favorite combination. It is the Brow Fixer from Beauty Bay in clear, and then the I Heart Revolution Dark Chocolate Pomade, which is going well. I'm still smelling of chocolate, so that is my brows. I am so excited to use this. It is in tin packaging. Ain't that gorgeous? And then it's a really darker looking bronzier colour. Now, I wasn't going to get this, and then I saw Luce had used it in her video. That's what it swatches like. So hopefully I can get away with it. If she can, hopefully I should be able to. So let's see. It's got some sort of smell to it. I think it's just that little bit too dark for me. I'm not gonna put it on my nose. I'm just gonna put something else on my nose because I feel like it's gonna leave a cast. It's nice, it's gorgeous, but it's just a little bit too dark for me right now. But it is very cute. Going to use a bit of Colourpop Wisp on my nose. Next is lips. We have four lipsticks to choose from. We've got Fiona, Donkey, Dragon and Gingy. I don't know what I'm going to use. I feel like I want to use Dragon or Donkey, so let's open them up. I might keep Fiona and Gingy for another video. <laughs> Donkey's one says, I'm a donkey, I'm on the edge. And then Dragon's one says, just reeking of feminine beauty on the side. They're absolutely stunning. This is what the packaging looks like. And then, oh, that is Dragon's and that is Donkey's. You've got like a nice nude and a nice deeper berry looking colour. Oh, that's like a cherry looking red. And then we've got a nude. Should we just ombre them? They're very satin formulas. They smell really sweet. So I'm just gonna put a liner on. I'm gonna ombre these and come back because it's gonna take me a little while and you're not gonna wanna watch that for like two minutes sped up. All right, we are done. This is the finished look. I love it. I love, love, love it all. The lipstick just if it was a little bit more berry, it would go with this look. Just a little bit more, but they've gone together really nicely. I did put a little bit of a liner on, but you can't really tell. It was the Colourpop Frenchie liner, just so that I didn't go out of my lip line at all. Let's talk about these palettes. I absolutely love them. They are absolutely gorgeous. The shimmers the shimmers. The shimmers speak for themselves. The mattes are stunning. They've blended in really well. Lipsticks, I love the lipsticks. Packaging is a bit cheaply made, like it's really plasticky, but the attention to detail on these, 
they are absolutely gorgeous and then the highlight wherever I put it here it is <laughs> couldn't find it look at that ain't that stunning I just love it I love the tin I just love 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 it it's a bit too dark for me at the moment but it's fine oh I've got not a bad word to say about any of this so yeah what do you guys think are you going to pick anything up from this collection the collection is absolutely gorgeous i will be filming with fiona and the big palette at some point there is another palette in this collection like it's like a shrek head there's got so much they've got a mask they've got a headband but i just bought what was like sticking out to me so yeah really really excited to be using all of this it just it just melted in perfectly so yeah i hope you did enjoy this video please smash a huge thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll catch you in my next one bye